Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. So today's shave is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be taking it back old school, at least for me, in terms of uh, what I started with uh, when I got into shaving. Um, we are kind of gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison to uh, really show kind of the benefits um, and the advantages to traditional wet shaving versus, um, I guess, more modern uh, shaving, as we wanna call it. So with that said, what we're gonna be using today to go back old school is Barbasol. <laughs> this is Barbasol Shave Gel. This is their Pacific Rush, which contains caffeine and menthol. I have yet to use this or smell it. Um, I have no idea what I'm getting into. Um, so this is what we'll be using uh, as far as the modern um, shave soap or cream or gel in this case. And the razor is going to be, this is a Gillette Pro Glide. So it actually says it down here, Pro Glide. Um, this actually does have a pivoting head here and it's got a, a lubrication strip up here. And you, it's probably really hard to tell, but this actually contains five separate blades in this. So I'm expecting a little bit of irritation after this shave, but we'll see how it goes. Now for the traditional side of things, um, I'll be switching it back to my DE days and I'll be going with the West Coast Shaving 84 BT, which stands for black titanium. Um, so this is actually a stainless steel handle that is um, uh, coated black to give it that kind of titanium finish, uh, that black titanium finish and feel. And um, the head on this is fairly mild, and I've got it loaded with a fresh pulse silver blade. And the soap that I'll be using for the other side of my face versus the Barbasol is going to be the recently released Mammoth Soaps Almond Leather. Really, really fantastic scent. Um, I've been able to use the soap once and really enjoyed it, so I, I know it's going to give me a great, great performance, and um, we'll see how it goes versus the Barbasol. So let me wet my face and we'll get to the Barbasol first. All right, so being that this is a, uh, this is more of a a gel slash cream. Um, this is actually, this would be considered brushless. So you could try to lather this with a brush, but it really wouldn't do you any better than how I'll lather it and just be using my hand. So as you can see here, it's just got this button up top here, sort of comes out. I'm just gonna use that much. Um, I can tell you off the bat that this is very, very airy. Um, it is very hard to, to, to know exactly how much you have, but um, I suspect that this will be enough at least for the first pass. So we'll put this on. This is my left side, so we'll put this on the left side here. And I'm just going to kind of rub it in. Now, as I mentioned, this, uh, this cream, as they call it, contains caffeine and menthol. And for the longest time, I really could not tell you what uh, the addition of caffeine, what purpose it serves as far as uh, shave creams go and shave products. But um, it is intended to constrict blood flow which uh, in essence will help to tighten your pores, which I don't know that you necessarily want, especially while you're shaving, because you really want those pores to be open um, and really exposing those hair follicles. And it is supposed to additionally help reduce the redness and irritation um, once you're done shaving. Now this also does contain menthol. Um, it 
I can certainly tell that it is there. Um, I would say it is on a scale of one to 10 in terms of menthol, it's probably somewhere in the middle. It's probably about a five. So while I don't mind menthol so much, I, I'm really curious as to, you know, what it will do for me in terms of the shave on this side. So that looks good there. Now for the other side, I'm going to lather the soap. I'm going to be using this West Coast Shaving Two-Tone Synthetic, 26 millimeter. Get a little bit wetter here. And I'm going to get to loading the almond leather from Mammoth. This almond leather is a, an absolutely great scent. It seems like such an odd combination, especially the first time that I ever heard of it, but it is really, really well blended. It's a lighter scent strength, but um, I know leather can be sort of a, a hit or miss for a lot of people, and especially in terms of the scent strength. Um, leather, you don't really want it to be too overpowering, um, but this is very well blended. It almost comes off as uh, it's so well blended it almost comes off as a clean scent to me, which I think um, I, I recently spoke to Ben and um, he says that I probably am getting the orange blossom note, which is also in there. Um, so along with the almond and the leather, there is uh, orange blossom and I believe frankincense. And it's just, it's a really nice scent. So I probably got plenty loaded up on here. We'll get the load in this side. As you can see, it really does not take much. Now what I will say off the bat already is, it should be quite noticeable that there's a difference in density. <laughs> the mammoth is much denser it goes on much smoother especially since I'm using a brush and not to mention it smells better um, the Barbasol the Pacific Rush I really don't get much of a scent from it I think it's just intended to be sort of a fresh clean scent um, but I don't really get a whole lot from it. So I can definitely feel the menthol. It's, it's definitely present. All right. I think we're good there. We're going to roll with it. All right. So I'm going to use the Gillette first. That way we don't end up having this cream sort of dry up on me. I almost feel like it's already kind of dissipating a little bit. Um, I can tell you that it does feel very light, very airy. The density is, I can just tell on my face, it is lacking severely. And um, we'll see how this goes. Again, this has five separate little blades on here. So if you think about that in terms of that many blades, it's almost equivalent, especially with the DE in this case, of going over the same area five times in the DE. But I don't know how this is gonna go. I have very coarse facial hair growth, so um, I'm fully expecting with two days growth that I have right now that this might tug a little bit. So we'll see. Let's get this going. And I'm trying to use just the same amount of pressure that I would with a, a DE. <clears throat> Ooh, I can definitely feel it tugging on the mustache. And as you can see, I have to buff that area too. So um, I fully expect that I'm gonna have a little bit of irritation from the extra passes that I have to uh, execute as far as buffing goes.
Now, one thing that I have found personally too in the past with cartridge razors is the fact that um, since I have such coarse beard growth, when it catches, it tends to dull these cartridge razors down significantly. So um, these cartridges are not cheap. Uh, depending on the quantity that you get, I mean, I, I, it's been a while since I've checked, but I want to say even maybe for like four of these refill cartridges for a blade, it's well north of 20 bucks, which is pretty crazy. Um, because typically, uh, I would get maybe five or six shaves on one before this lubrication strip started going on me and before the blade itself just started getting really tuggy. So, truly, the traditional way of shaving, as we all know, it's true intention, really, or at least what people tell you when you first start out is that it'll save you money. And that's absolutely true if you're sticking with the same razor, the same, you know, pack of blades for a while. All right, so with the grain, not too bad, where I'm really expecting this to, uh, to, to, I don't know, I guess really give a clear winner is on the against the grain pass. So, all right, so this side is going to be the mammoth and the uh, traditional DE. There is a noticeable difference in slickness. So with, with the shave cream, there's really no added benefit to adding water. Another added bonus is just being able to kind of flip the blade as you go along so you don't have to rinse nearly as much. Let me rinse my face real quick. We'll see if we notice any difference just off the first pass. I would say it's it's uh it's about the same. Um, it is a very odd sensation having menthol only on one side of my face. Um, I'm interested to see how long this menthol kind of takes effect, and uh, I'm guessing sort of masks the irritation that I'm I'm fully expecting will be there at the conclusion of the shave. Um, so, got to go back to the can here. So just got that much. We'll work it in. I think one of the biggest things, you know, that we all especially enjoy with this hobby is the variety and the uniqueness of the scents that are out there. And really with these shave creams, these modern ones and shave gels, they're really just, they're nothing to write home about. So it's, it's not really quite as enjoyable. All right. And the other side, back to the mammoth, which it looks like it might be a little bit dry. So I'm going to 
add a little bit of water to it. There we go. Just a little bit. Beautiful. All right, so second pass, Gillette with the, or against the grain, excuse me. Oof. I don't know if you can even hear that, but it's, there's definitely some tugging going on there. Definitely have to clean out these cartridge razors much more than the DEs as you go through a shave. So for those that watch this, let me know what you guys started out with. before you discovered the traditional way of wet shaving. Is it similar to mine? Just start out with electric, uh, electric razors. That's a whole other animal in itself. Again, these, the efficiency is, it really lacks with cartridge razors too, despite the fact that this razor has five blades. They're just, they're so small, they're so thin, they really lose their cutting ability, in my experience, pretty quick. All right. Done with that side. I do actually feel like I am getting some, some irritation even through the menthol on this side, um, especially around here and on my neck. But let's see how the other side does with the uh, 84 BT. The slickness is definitely one of the biggest differences between these, at least to start. I fully expect the pose shave will be a very large margin in terms of performance as well. This is just very comfortable, very smooth. I'm sure most know by now, especially when I was previously using DEs exclusively, my, uh, my neck was a, a trouble area along with my mustache. So just very light pressure, but it, it just feels very comfortable, very smooth, very effortless. There we have it. Well, let me rinse off and we'll 
we'll do a side by side comparison and uh, we'll get a little post shave in here. So just feeling around here. I definitely have some areas on or especially on my neck, which is not uncommon. But um in terms of face feel, the almond leather is is definitely my skin feels much more soft and supple. It it still feels like um I mean, it, this side of my face is definitely already much drier. Um, it does not feel very hydrated. Um, I don't have as much irritation as I expected, but I fully suspect again that that might be because of the menthol on this side. Um, I'd be curious if I was using an unmentholated shave gel, how it would feel. Um, it may wear off and I may feel that a little bit later, um, but there's certainly a difference. I know that the post shave, my face on, on this side just feels so much better than it does over here. Um, there's a, a big difference in how moisturized and nourished my face feels. Um, so again, ad advantage to modern shave soaps, um, definitely the DE, which I rarely use anymore. So I definitely was expecting some blood at some point or for me to, <laughs> to look like a complete noob since it's been so long since I've been using DEs. Um, but very effortless and really uh, it's just due to all those factors. There's one blade in your DE razor and it is, it's far less blades in comparison to this cartridge that are going across your face and causing that undue irritation. But in order to keep this really traditional, we're going to do some post shave on both sides of the face as well. So for the Barbasol, I'm going to follow it up with Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Now this stuff contains a lot of alcohol and it may certainly let me know how this shave actually went. Ooh, oh yeah. Definitely a little bit of sting around the mustache area. That's pretty sensitive. Um, everywhere else for the most part was was okay. So, you rinse my hand here and wash it. And then for the other side, we're gonna follow it up with Mammoth Almond Leather Aftershave. Much better in terms of the skin food ingredients. A little bit of sting as well, um, mainly on my neck here. I may have rushed that part, but still, still not bad at all. Just, I absolutely love the scent. I get a little bit more of the almond in the aftershave, but it is, it's wonderful. Just outstanding. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that shave. It was weird to kind of go back to where it all started for me, starting with cartridge razors and seeing, you know, how far shaving has gone or how far back we, we need to go in order to um, kind of enjoy the shaving experience and, um, you know, really do our skin a favor and, um, you know, Give it exactly what it needs and and, and put more uh, you know traditional style into it and use just great soaps that have a lot of great ingredients um, you know the other thing that I didn't mention which I happen to notice it as one of the ingredients in this Barbasol is propane <laughs> true story um, it is listed right here hard to see but propane I have no idea what purpose that serves in here other than maybe, you know, that 
pressure, the whatever it needs to, to get it out of this can. But that's kind of scary. Um, you don't see that in shave soaps. It's, it's just, uh, it's advanced a lot as far as our soaps and creams these days. And I think we're all better off for it. But anyways, so thanks for joining guys. Hope you enjoyed the shave. I know I did, at least on one side of my face. Look forward to seeing you for the next one. Take care.